Hello, welcome to the Comptorics module. Today we'll discuss the rule of product. It's a basic counting principle which enumerates the number of possibilities in performing a simple action. Let's say we have a list of numbers from 1 through 10 and a list of fruits, an apple, a banana, and an orange. How many ways could we choose a number and then a fruit? For example, we could have chosen 5 and then a banana. That's one possibility. How many possibilities are there in total? That is what the rule of product explains. Now let's take a simple case where we have two letters and three numbers. How many ways can we choose a letter and then a number? Well, we could have chosen A, and then we could choose 1, 2, or 3, or we could choose B1, B2, and B3. So there are six possibilities in total. Another way of looking at it is that we have three rows and two columns. So we have six possibilities in the total outcome table. Now what if we had actually chosen the numbers first and then the letters? Well, we could have 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, or 3A, or 3B. So we still have six possibilities. Good. Another way of looking at it is now we have two rows and three columns. So in the table, there are still six possibilities. That's the idea behind the rule of product. Now what if we had two groups from before, and now a third group, five symbols? Well, if we had chosen alpha first, we could choose either A or B. If we choose A, we still have the possibilities 1, 2, or 3. Similarly, if we had chosen alpha and then B, we could still choose 1, 2, or 3. So instead of copying alpha, we'll just write it once and then write the other possibilities. OK. We can do the same thing for beta now. So if we had chosen beta, then we could choose A, and then 1, 2, or 3, or B, and then 1, 2, or 3. Similarly, copy down the table for gamma, delta, and epsilon, so that if we know which symbol we chose, we know the number of possibilities that follow. So in total, we have five boxes. Each of them have three rows and two columns. So that means we have 30 possibilities in total. That's the idea behind the rule of product. Since we have five objects in the first group, two objects in the second group, and three objects in the third group, there are 30 total possibilities. In general, if we have A objects in one group, B objects in another group, C, and so forth, the number of possibilities in performing an action where we choose one object from each of the groups is the product A times B times C times D. That is the idea behind the rule of product.